Hey guys, so it's cool tricks here, and today I'm doing our stuff. So I got a video for the month of October 2015. So let's just get started. Uh, this month was pretty light on stuff overall. I didn't really pick up much because, uh, you know, November is coming out. This is usually the time when a lot of sales happen, so I decided to save a little money and uh, not buy too much. So, yeah. So let's get started. Uh, first up, I bought a PlayStation Store card because um, basically. I wanted to uh, get some games from the PSN store for my newly acquired Vita, which I got last month, I think. I, I believe I got it last month. But, uh, yeah. And with that, I picked up... Let's show you guys right here. Um, let's see, I got Mega Man Legends. So that's that. Uh, Resident Evil Director's Cut. And this was free from a code my, I got from a friend. Uh, but uh, these two, I got Mega Man Legends and Resident Evil Director's Cut. Now, Mega Man Legends was $10 and Resident Evil Director's Cut was 4 The reason I got these Mega Man Legends is because uh, I really wanted to play Mega Man Legends. I never played it and, you know, it just seemed like the perfect time to play it. Now, that's uh, available on the PlayStation Vita so I can play on the go and stuff. And it's a pretty fun game overall. It definitely has its flaws and it definitely has clunky controls, but... It's still a decent game. It's not, it's not bad. It's a good game. And I got Resident Evil Director's Cut, which is 4 bucks because it was on sale. And this is definitely um, a very, very awesome game. Voice acting is pretty bad. It's kind of outdated, clunky controls. But, um, yeah, it's definitely a game that uh, for 4 bucks I just couldn't pass up. So, yeah. With the PlayStation Store, I got that. And I have 6 bucks left. So let me know, guys, what should I get uh, on my Vita with the 6 bucks I have left with this PlayStation Store card. So, yeah. Got that. Next up, I went to a yard sale, and I got some games from her. Uh, I got NHL 2002 for the PlayStation 2. Now, the reason I got this was because um, it was only a dollar, and I actually really enjoy it. And like NHL, like um, hockey games. I don't know why. Uh, you know, I don't hate all sports games, so one dollar. You know, I just couldn't pass it up. So, yeah, it's complete, like I already showed. And I got uh, Tomb Raider 3 for the PlayStation 1. This is complete, and the disc is in really good condition. So, $1. Um, yeah, couldn't pass it up. And next up, I got uh, a game which I used to have when I was a kid. And this is Dexter for the PlayStation Portable PSP. Uh, it's complete. The game's in my PSP right now. But uh, this is a game that uh, I really, really like. Um, it's a really fantastic game. Uh, the platforming is amazing. I love the story. And yeah, it's a really great gameplay, really great story. Music is amazing. Everything about this game is just fantastic. The only thing I complain about is the length. That was pretty bad, but uh, yeah. If it was a little longer, I think that they should make an HD remake of this game for the PS4 or the Vita, but Sony doesn't like the Vita, so... Yeah, for the PS4 HD remake of this, that would be awesome. Please, Sony, please like. Okay. Anyways, I got this for eight bucks off Amazon. Not bad. Uh, it's in like mint condition and all that. So, yeah, uh, ha definitely happy with this game. All right. So next up, uh, I just forgot to show this. I got um, a Mad Cat's PS2 controller from the same yard sale as these two games. Uh, this uh, works all right, I guess. It's not the best controller, but it works so they want to play and uh, a PS2 um, power cord which I usually just pick these up because they're cheap when I resell consoles and stuff if I get doubles so yeah those are I think five bucks together which is not that great of a deal but I need a new PS2 controller so whatever got those and at the same yard so a week later uh, lady um, she was told me to come back next week because she said she'll have some games Came back next week, she said, um, to come back a couple hours later. I did. I looked through a bin and I found a couple games. So, first off, we have Casper for the PS1. It's based off of a movie, I believe. I never saw it, but I did see a commercial, I think, when I was little. in one of my VHS tapes for, like, Chicken Run, I think. But, whatever. This game's, uh, complete. And, yeah, you know, definitely not, probably not even gonna be a good game, but, hey, $1.00. You know, trying to be up on my PS1 collection, so that this is a good game to get. A uh, haunting 3D challenge, definitely, definitely a scary game right there. Woo! But yeah, um, another game is really interesting. This is called Devil Dice. 
uh, everyone's here saying, oh, better than Tetris, amazing game, this, that. I'm just like, really? And it's complete. And I looked up some reviews of this, because I never heard of this game before. I just got it from that yard sale. And, yeah, everyone's saying it's a good game, so I really want to try this. Everyone's saying it's a unique game, a good game. It looks very interesting. Um, the title looks interesting as well. I never heard of this game. So who knows, this could possibly be some kind of hidden gem uh, on the PS1. So it's only a dollar, just like this other game, and those are two. So one dollar, it could not pass that up. Um, so yeah, that's all I got this month, guys. Uh, I know it's not a lot, but uh, yeah, next month I think I'll have more. Just because uh, a lot of sales next month, you know, Black Friday, and there's a lot of buy two again free sales pop up and all that stuff. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. And as always, thank you for supporting my channel. Have a good one. Peace.